checked or not, so. It's not, and we're going Smash Ball. So, um, quick start here. Again, uh, LRA is really good on this stage. Um, the, the smaller size of the stage is great for tech chasing, and as I mentioned before, LRA is really good tech chasing. However, Dill also loves this stage, so um, no issues uh, does Dill have, especially starting here. Oh, Wolf just does so much damage. So many crunchy aerials that just absolutely Ooh. destroy you. Oh, and I like that reflector right there. Not that just yet. Um, however, Wolf getting back to stage here is really hard. Wow, almost got clipped by the side. I think actually, well, it might have. I think I saw a percent tick up there. Down oh. smash is enough, so you died. Um, Dill laughing that one off. Yeah, uh, it's like with Dill, um, I feel like she did not really have a reason to risk her yeah. life so much with that side. We almost just died to the wolf flash, but even then put herself in a re-grab situation. And that wolf down smash still kills insanely early. I like that Nair. Good idea. Cover high space. Okay, and yeah, these disjointed hitboxes coming out from LRA really helping out in catching Dill's landings. Night! Wow! That was a gorgeous tech. And the roll. Uh, Rob is actually not fast enough to cover that. Okay. Ooh. Oh, jumped, I think, out there. Yeah, but big hitbox from the air on the way down the floor. And that's the big difference. We saw LRA versus Vivi earlier, and how LRA's jump-ins were getting caught really, really often. Ooh, <laughs> that gyro went flying. Died, yeah. Um, but the thing is, like, Rob does not have those same disjoints, right? Uh, and why Wolf um, can do pretty well versus Rob is because Rob has to trade with Wolf a lot. Um, Still got the Rory, but wow. Wolf pretty far. And that's so good at catching you sleeping. Like, you yeah. think Wolf cannot get there, but the burst range on this character is kind of insane. Yeah, and the thing, like, Dill was drifting out. So, Dill was holding out the DI. So, she just exploded that when probably would have lived if she was ready for it. So, really nice placement right there by LRA. Good DI on that Nair. Could have been death. Ooh. Still just a bit off with these timings, honestly. Wow. A little uncharacteristic, and they start, you know, I feel like just getting in the air before Dill is mm -hmm. and pressing something to stuff it out. Dill, like, has been really prone to just be jumping over and over, and LRA start, well, just do a jump Nair, jump fair. Ooh, okay, the Nair is going to allow Dill to get back down to the stage. Tough position for LRA to get back down from, but does end up doing so. Okay, yeah, these, these aerials are pretty safe. Uh, Wolf obviously has that excellent <laughs> air mobility. Okay, the gyros <laughs> decided to boomerang back. That uh, was really funny. <laughs> yeah, the Wolf Flash hit the gyro at the starting hitbox, but did not get hit by it. So it just okay, kind of that's going to be enough. Goodbye, right. Wolf. So, uh, we are in that lovely position versus Rob where you never know. Dill does, does not really have the crazy confirms normally. Um, Dill just has really solid neutral and the ability to kind of kill you off one offstage interaction, which against Wolf again is super scary to be this character. Nice double jump out. You have to double jump out. Oh, you died to laser? That's so funny. Okay, not quite. Yeah, but it took take like 40% or something. That yeah. laser is so much, so reflected its tenfold. And LRA start just really clean. Like, I feel it played really reactionary, honestly. Yeah. Like, and it works so well because Dill just like. Kinda was pressing like panic options and really obvious like timings. Like it like dashed yeah. away to bait out thinking that Dill could safely neutral get up. And Wolf's speed is, is really slept on. Like you can get to places so fast. Yeah, and that regrab there. Super costly. Dill actually was like playing pretty dominantly in the start of that game. And then that costly uh, missed edge guard ended up taking the stock. And really from that point, LRA was the better player. Um not giving Dill a whole lot to work with. Yeah, Dill's definitely a player that's much better w when she has a lead. When she doesn't, I feel like that's when like her weaknesses can show as mm -hmm. a player in general. So, you know, hopefully you're not going to get down smashed at 50 this next game. And yeah. You're going to get a serious start going. Dill, not, I don't think, too discouraged. Like, she wins from these spots all the time. Yeah, and Dill uh, likes to take it slow in between those games. Um, Mild icing, but mild also just like self-collecting. Um, trying to get back into that correct mindset for this game too. And we are going to run it right back to Smashville. Um, I don't mind this. Again, I think both characters are very good on the stage. Um, however, right now, LRA just showing how proficient he is at these uh, landing Ooh. traps. Really good at getting Dill um, back in the air. 
Man, LRA start feeling confident, honestly. It's like it's a bunch of short hops in, reading Dill was gonna keep drifting back. Really clean 51% to start it off. And Rob could get it right back. Ooh, that gyro made it a little awkward. Okay. Triple down tilt. Looking for a roll in there was Dill. Oh, down smash. No tech by Dill, just barely getting out of that situation. Now the gyro is reflected, so it is a touch stronger. Um Yeah, Dill. Okay. Just as a player, doesn't use too much back air. Okay, down throw. Okay, good match out by LRA. Wow, and immediately knowing the tech was going to be missed, ends up going right for that down smash. Um, and LRA, after, you know, what was a really close uh, first stock, does end up... Okay, that should be it. Yeah. Dill leaving it up right away. I feel like Dill, when she needs to clutch out a stock, when she's down, she goes to that side beat a lot. Uh, worked out right there, but I hope uh, I hope it does not come back to bite her if LRA start, um, starts to get a read on that. Once again, this reactionary play kind of coming out, staying in shield, waiting for Dill to do something, but kind of just like was a deer in headlights a bit once Dill did that air dodge in, and now taking a lot of percent for it. And not able to get that reflector out in time. Most reflector is not instant, it's not like Falco's. Okay, okay. Slide off there is actually really big. You don't want to be in a tech situation against um, Wolf there. Down go. Up tilt. Okay, not quite going to be true just there. Great DI uh, on the up tilt by LRA to make that as difficult as... Oh, oh. good! The gyro actually saved LRA there. That was unfortunate. And now, for Dill, I mean, that could be super bad. Yeah. Or, it could not be. <laughs> that was strange. It was like the back of Rob's face that hit that His, his whole head has a hitbox. Yeah. Um, it was crazy stuff. Uh, okay, we did get back to stage here, but now Dill um, running away with this a little bit. Getting a full 72% on that second stock. Quick reflect by LRA. Down smash again on the Nair. Tech chase. No tech coming out from Dill. And that's going to be enough to get LRA at least back into this game. I got to say, LRA's confirms have been clean this entire set. Like, oh, he... Oh, I'm just L trying. LRA, yeah, LRA doesn't know what to do <laughs> with Gyro at ledge. Like, at all. Uh, yeah, you see like players, like, numbers, like know like the Z like the yeah. timing to press Z to like instantly pick it up and such. LRA start seems to kind of just like wait because he's clueless and it just like and then you actually get hit because it takes too long. Yeah you can't certain characters can get up attack it. It's a very select few. Um but um you can't really get up attack. You can't neutral get up obviously. You can't um depending on the character you can't jump. And depending on the character, you um, or you most certainly can't roll, because Rob can always cover roll. Um, the, the the real thing you should be doing there is jump air dodge. That's what Numbers does, right? He jumps, he air dodges, he catches the gyro as he comes up with the air dodge, right? It does. This is true. Yeah. But no, yeah, the um, jump animation uh, does affect that. So as I mentioned before, if you can get over it, uh, the majority of the time you can just air dodge. I do believe Wolf is one of those characters. Normally, it's just big characters that can't grab the gyro. Um, general rule of thumb, but uh... Ooh, okay. And I feel like both these games have been kind of determined by who gets the momentum at the start right here. So Dill looking to make it so that she has a good lead going for her. And LRA start actually did a really good weight on that trip. I feel like every Rob is going to do a Nair after that trip because they want to catch it and get a combo, but. Larry Star waited, being aware of that. Oh, okay. oh that could have been a lucky break. <laughs> yeah. Um, as, as, as we just mentioned before, you know, LRA, it, oh wow, down smash, Rob's, okay, Ooh. Rob's two frame is really bad. Uh, sticks his hands really far above the ledge when he two frames. That's a great uh, reaction by LRA. And I want to point out, no fuel, like none. Yeah, still, still had to go high there. Oh, uh, getting didn't it all back now. Anything. Now fueled up. Who's gonna close this first stock? I feel like whoever closes this first stock got a solid chance to just win the game with that lead. Oh! Oh, and Dill finally teching it. They're yeah, ready that time around, but LRA was ready as well with that dash tag. Not gonna be able to take the stock. Stock one here is gonna be so, so big. And I wonder if some counterplay, if Dill could try DI'ing up on these snares yeah. so that she doesn't even have to get put in a tech chase situation. Okay, back. okay, okay I'm still forward throwing. 
Now I think back throw might just kill off the top, straight up. <laughs> yeah, it's all that rage. But we never know, Rob, as, as mentioned, is big, is heavy, but that's definitely going to be enough. With Rob up throw, um, going to be able to take that stock. Oh, wow, but the positioning was so good right there from LRA. Getting around the gyro with the double jump and being able to take the stock. That grab. Oh, no. This is jumpless. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. It was jumpless. That was really scary. Had to go for the instant up. He ends up working out for LRA backstage and back to neutral. And LRA, I feel like, has been really good at mixing up. He, like, is going to he like short hop nares, but he, sometimes he does a rising nares. Sometimes he does one right before he lands. And so it makes it really ambiguous when you can punish it. Okay, quick um, opportunity here for Dill. To get LRA out and does Ooh. with an up smash, catching the landing, a nice little uh, walk back into the up smash. Really worked out for Dill. Yeah, that was such clean spacing, honestly. Not that easy to do, punish a wool snare like that. It's a very slippery move. Oh, and Dill DIing up, but LRA started kind of ready for it. Tried to catch the jump. Good idea, but he was definitely off with the spacing, reading Dill turning in. Yeah, can't punish that nair with an up smash, especially when it's spaced. Right now, this is kind of where LRA seems to struggle when he needs to force a kill. Yeah. And that's kind of just Wolf in general. He can definitely struggle when forcing a kill. Yeah, because Wolf, obviously, incredible neutral, huge hitboxes, but really can at times. When Wolf doesn't get the stock early, he almost always gets it late. Yeah, and that's going to be enough there. 92% um, though already on LRA. And yeah, that's a little bit of a bait by Dill. Going for that side B, you are still in an invincibility afterward. It can act out. Yeah, I'm surprised Dill didn't up till immediately. She kind of waved it in a whiff, but I feel like she did it right away. Could have been good. And very fortunate for Dill that LRA start missed the grab off of that Nair. Could have been a nice combo going. Okay, already at that 140%. Under a platform, up, up uh, throw might just kill. Okay, but a quick Tomahawk by LRA. Yeah, and you saw the DI uh, in there to prevent Dill from ha for, or having to tech there. And that Tomahawk was so good because I feel like Dill both expected a full hop and a landing aerial. And I don't think LRA is on Tomahawk a single time. So that short hop Tomahawk was super clean. These grabs are going to be coming in clutch for LRA start right here. I feel like Dill has been so prone to shielding. Ooh. Getting into such a dangerous position here. That grab. Oh, and read the jump, and that's it. And LRA cool. will take. The game will take the set over Dill to move on into Losers Finals versus Vivi. Can I, can I be completely honest? I'm shocked Dill jumped there. Yeah. I, I feel like every Roy and their mom tries to read this yeah, jump. Yeah, every, every wolf. Yeah, Good. Uh, yeah wolf, sorry, yeah. not Roy. Every wolf and their mom does that jump for Reed Bear. Yeah. I, I'm kind of surprised Dill fell for it, but you know, I definitely understand clutch situations. Yeah. You can La just kind of press buttons without thinking sometimes. Last tip, but yeah, I absolutely agree. Uh, every wolf goes for that, for that back air. <laughs> Um, 